Please step forward. The three of you are very good. However, the remaining students behind you will be my class this semester. <laughs> My character, Michael Sutton, plays drama teacher in this new hip drama school, School for the Arts in New York City. And Dawn comes as a senior. She's sort of a fish out of water, but Michael recognizes her talent, kind of takes her under his wing, and I'm not sure of his motives. Might not be the greatest guy in the world. I'm grappling with that. Joey McIntyre. Well, you know, I was kind of starstruck when I first met Joey McIntyre from New Kids on the Block. And honestly, I didn't know what to expect. I knew he could sing. Been listening to him sing since I was quite a bit younger. And I'd seen his videos on YouTube. I know he had a great voice, but I didn't know if he could act. And he can, and he did a great job. It was a pleasure having him on set. He plays a villain, but like a really charming villain that the main character who we love falls for, and we totally understand why. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt. I'll see you in class. You, you weren't interrupting anything important. <laughs> you know, I do have an hour to kill before my next appointment. Grab a coffee? Talk about that voice of yours? It's been a lot of fun playing this kind of drama. It's a period piece that takes place in the 70s. I've never really done anything like this. I have a lot of kissing scenes with Joey McIntyre from New Kids on the Block, Michael Sutton. We kept clinking teeth, which looks like the most awkward thing. And they're supposed to be like these very like, beautiful, lovey-dovey scenes. And we would just like hit teeth and I would start cracking up because that's like one way to take you out of a kiss. What are you doing here? I can't say I'm surprised to find you in your current condition. I assume you know who the father is. I know who he is. A fellow student? A random encounter? It doesn't matter. He's gone. <sighs> Not a surprise. Lillian is the matriarch of the story. She's the grandmother of Dawn. She runs the show, basically, with an iron fist. How lucky are we that we got to work with Donna Mills? Donna Mills is a legend, like she is a treasure. Donna Mills is somebody that the fans of these books and these stories grew up watching on television in soap operas, which were during that time period, those were the melodramas. She really is, in a lot of ways, the grandmother of the genre. Lillian wants things done her way and only her way. And Lillian has secrets, many deep, dark secrets that aren't going to be found out by anyone if she has anything to say about it. And one of the things about shooting these movies, at times you would be shooting in the 1970s in one scene and then switch to the 1980s. So we had a lot of quick changes and quick set dressings changing and hair changing and makeup and costume changing and characters changing um, literally from movie to movie and time period to time period. So that's just an incredibly talented crew that was all working together. It's hard not to take advantage of this set and living in the 70s. So the minute I got on this set, I just kept thinking of John Travolta and staying alive. It's been really fun. Everyone is is so wonderful and, and has a good time while we're working, which is great. The most fun has probably been how many pairs of very tight pants appear, <laughs> um, which gives us all a lot of good laughs. <laughs> Where the hell is she getting all new clothes? When you think about costumes, you often think about the female costumes as being the crazy costumes, but there were a lot of crazy guy costumes. Wow. This movie, Kobe at first, who plays Jimmy, he's playing a teenager, so he's like outgrowing all of his clothes. They haven't maybe got enough money to get the next size up, so he almost seems like a young man that's kind of bursting out of his kids' clothes. But then Dane, who plays Philip, is in a lot of tight pants because he's a ladies' man and he's incredibly confident with his body and his clothes, so you know, all of his fashion sort of expressed that. It was really fun portraying that time period uh, in New York City. It was really fun having Fran Drescher in all of those costumes. She's such a gem in general, but getting to see her 
play a multitude of different characters in the short period of time that we had her, and that role was really fun. Have fun, enjoy, thanks for watching. <laughs>